Thank you for clicking on the link. This is the um, information session for Tsunami Volleyball Central Georgia for the 2018-2019 season. We are super excited to be coming to Central Georgia to the Warner Robins Macon area. And this information session will cover uh, information on costs, facilities and practice schedules, tournaments, travel, and everything related to Tsunami Volleyball uh, and Central Georgia. These first few slides are just a history of our club. Uh, the alumni slides are, are what we've done over the past 10 or 12 years. And there's also a highlight slide in there, which is uh, talking about some of our successes from this past year. We know these slides are not specifically related to Central Georgia at this point, other than it gives you a, a vantage point of who we are, where we come from, uh, and what we do well. This past season, we had six teams earn bids to USA Volleyball Nationals. These are teams that finished in the top of the region or at the top of national qualifiers. These are bids that are earned and not given. Uh, within the southern region, there are only a handful of clubs out of the hundreds of clubs that earn bids every year. And we've earned at least one bid for the last 15 years. This past year, we earned six. In addition to that, we sent eight teams to AAU Nationals to compete in Orlando. 2017-2018 was a pretty good year for us. We had two teams finish fifth at AAU Nationals, and our 16-1 South team finished second, playing 17s in Orlando. So we had a pretty good run last season. We look forward to mimicking that and, and even better this upcoming season. We have a lot more information to cover than we have slides to show, so we will run our alumni slides in the background just for your viewing pleasure. Please note that these are places where our athletes have actually attended and, are, uh, and played or are playing still. Uh, these are not places where they have just attended college. They are actually on the team here. You'll see everything in this list from Division I, II, III, uh, NAIA, and Junior College. At the end of our alumni slides, you'll see our coaching slide, which is the resumes of our coaches at our locations. Um, for interest for you guys is that Dex and Kate from Mercer uh, will be involved in our Central Georgia location. Dex will be working with our setters specifically and run, working in, in our master coaching format. Um, Kate will be coaching a team and will also be helping out in our master coaching format. Our master coaching format works like this. Your daughter plays on one team and she has a head coach there, but she will have the opportunity to work with multiple other coaches because those coaches will all be working on um, skill-specific training, position training um, within the club on multiple different teams. So not only do you get the input of your head coach, but you'll also get the input of other head coaches. Almost all the kids in the club will have the opportunity to work with um, Dex and a good number of our other master coaches. Many of our athletes are coming from CGVA, which is a program that Steve started a number of years ago, um, and are wondering what's different this year and what are we going to do differently than he has done in the past and, and why should you play here? And there, there are a couple of things here. Uh, first of all, we have Steve's blessing. He needed more admin help and he wanted to get out of the gym a little bit. So he's still involved with us and he's still going to be involved in training and we're still working with him to try and get him to coach some teams, but that part's probably not gonna happen this year. But anyway, um, so here's what you need to know. We will give additional training to coaches. Um, it's part of our method that we teach Teach the Tsunami way, which is a certain way where we teach skills so that your athlete hears the same thing at 10s that she does at 18s. Obviously, the skill set um, uh, increases, but the keywords are the same. The plan is the same, and we work the same all the way through. So she'll have the opportunity to improve every year. We talked about it earlier, but master coaching is also one of the things that we do a little differently. Um, so we will be doing that this year. Part of that master coaching format is that you'll now pick up an extra 30 minutes of practice each week. Uh, that 30 minutes will be combined with other teams and other coaches, so you'll have the opportunity to work all the outside hitters together and all the middles together and the setters together and that sort of thing. And then as the season progresses, it starts to become more combo um, combo sessions where middles and setters are together, DSs and outsides are together. And then as we get later on in the year, all of those sessions become scrimmage sessions so that by the second half of the season, you, each week you have an hour and a half of practice and then you have at least 30 minutes of, of competition within, um, within the teams that, that are close to you and your skill sets. 
Uh, you'll see in a minute there is an increase in price from what we've done at CGVA in the past or what Steve has done from CGA, CGVA in the past. One of the biggest places that money is going is that we are able to pay our coaches this year. Um, and in Steve's defense, he had volunteers who were willing to do it, but it made it difficult for him to dictate what they were going to do. So we get to pay them a little bit so that we can tell them a little bit more of what it is that we want them to to follow so that, again, at 10s, they're hearing the same thing at 18s. And we've had great response from the coaches uh, to this point, so we're not, we're not concerned about um, – not concerned about any resistance from them. They are going to love cashing a paycheck and they're super excited to get started with the season. We will be advertising those coaches uh, leading up to the 14 and under tryout. So you'll start hearing information on who those coaches are over the next couple of days. Uh, for the 15 and up tryouts, we will post those coaches leading into, um, leading into the 15 and up tryouts. The first thing we need for you to do is figure out the age group where your daughter qualifies. So there's a chart here, but the reality is however old your daughter is on September 1st of 2019, that's the age group she plays. My daughters are 11 on September 1st. They will be 12, so they play in the 12 and under age group. Please make sure you get this correct because it creates a myriad of problems later on. That's a, that's a big one. Make sure you know that you're in the right age group, and if you're not sure, please contact us and let us help you. Here's our fee schedule for Tsunami Central Georgia. Uh, just to kind of go through it to give you a little bit of clue what all of this means. We will host teams 12s through 18s. Uh, we absolutely have room for some younger athletes other than 12s. We do ask that in order to be on a team that they have, a, they have some um, physical abilities. I hate to say it that way, but we don't want a four-year-old out there because she's not going to be able to compete. Um, but there are some eight-year-olds that really can compete. And so we just ask that you kind of self-monitor there. If your kid can play the game and hit the ball over the net and um, it looks like she can pass pretty well, then, then let's, let's bring her out. Um, or at least she has the ability to do it. Let's go ahead and bring her out. We'd love to have those kids play with us at 12s. Um, if they're struggling and, and not anywhere close to being able to hit the ball over the net, we're going to have training programs that we would love to bring them in where we will teach them the game and work with them to develop the skill set and the strength to get to the level where they can compete on a team. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in reading our design here, uh, our slide here, practices per week, every team will practice two times per week. Um, each of the teams will play two local tournaments. Now, unfortunately, we're considering local tournaments that have to be Atlanta as well. What that means is that these are tournaments you can drive to in one day. For instance, one of these tournaments for sure will be at the Tsunami Center in Forest Park. You can get up that morning, you drive up, you compete that day, get in your car and drive back that night. That's what we consider a local tournament. If someone runs um, tournaments in the Central Georgia Warner Robins area, um, we will look at participating in that tournament and count that as one of your local tournaments. Um, there will be travel tournaments involved. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of, of where you guys live. Um, so your 12s will have three travel tournaments. Your 13s through 18s will have five travel tournaments each. Where we can, we will make those tournaments the same. So your 13s and 18s will be going to the same tournaments every time that we possibly can. Um, the apparel package, we're trying to keep costs down, so we're going with um, what is our, our, our lowest cost apparel package. It's two jerseys, two spandex, sweatshirt, backpack, um, a couple of t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirt, that type of thing. So it's a minimal package. You will have the opportunity to purchase the full package that our elite teams have, which is head to toe, knee pads, shoes, socks, everything, but that is not required of you to do so, but it, it, it will be available to you. The cost that you see here is everything that you will pay Tsunami Volleyball. There are no additional or hidden fees. Um, I know some people put it out this way and then they have a uniform fee and they have a travel fee and they have a coach's travel fee and they have all these other fees. And it's just a nightmare for us to keep up with and it's just not worth it. So this number is everything you'll pay to us. You can budget from the very beginning. What we ask for is that after you commit to us, there's a certain day uh, that we'll get, we'll get to later, but after you commit to us on commitment day, you'll write a deposit check then you take December off um, so that you can buy Christmas presents instead. And then January, February, March, and April, you'll make four equal payments. 
The one thing that is not included in your fees is your travel and your family's travel and your athlete's travel, I should say. Um, some of our families are happy with Motel 6 and McDonald's. Some of our families want Ruth's Chris and the Ritz. And we don't care. Whichever way you go. We will help with hotels in that we will book hotels for you. We will send you the information of this is where we have a block of rooms. If you want those rooms, you'll just simply need to call and put your credit card down and they will hold that room for you. If you do not and you want to go do something differently, that is fine with us. We do not mandate that our teams travel together. Um, also, we do not mandate that our athletes stay together. I, I personally want my kid in my room with me and I want to hang out with her and um, so I'm not, we're not mandating that all of our kids stay in a room together. Here's our tryout schedule for um, 12s through 14s. As we said before, we will absolutely consider younger athletes um, than 12. Uh, so please bring them out and we'll take a look at them for sure. Uh, this tryout schedule is 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, for the 12 and under, we do not anticipate being in the gym until 9 o'clock. Uh, we do have the gym reserved for that time period, but typically it takes us two hours to get them done. For 13s and 14s, there are a lot of decisions to be made and we want to give every opportunity uh, for each athlete to be seen well. So that probably will go until nine o'clock, but we will tell you that night where you stand with us before you leave. So if you are being offered a spot on a team, you'll know before you leave uh, and have the opportunity to ask questions and see who else is on the team and that sort of thing. Our 15s through 18s tryout times have not been finalized, but they will be finalized in the next, um, in the next couple of days. So there is a central Georgia tab on our website. If you will go there at the top, I think it says Sister Clubs, and then the drop-down menu is Central Georgia. If you click on that, it will give you the most updated version of everything that we have covered uh, in this information session. You can also call our office at 404-661-0836. That's the Tsunami office in Forest Park. Um, or you can email us about Central Georgia at cg at tsunamivolleyball.com. We appreciate your taking the time to listen. We hope that we were able to share a good bit of valuable information with you, and we are super excited to have our athletes in Central Georgia. If you have any questions, give us a call, and we will see you guys at tryouts.